through time, you will know what it's like to lose. To feel so desperately that you're right, yet to fail all the same. Dread it. Run from it. Destiny still arrives. Shimamashiach Yahweh Shah, and that's giving all praises to the Heavenly Father who the world equally calls God, whose Hebrew name is Yahweh. And we do so in his only begotten name, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus, whose Hebrew name is Yahweh Shah. And you may ask, why does it matter? Give me the book of John 8:32. Why are we out here? Why do you see these men on every corner in every country on planet Earth? speaking about the Bible, and more specifically, why is it those men that are identified as the so-called Negroes? Well, we're here to give you the world's best kept secret. The so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and Seminole Indians, we are the biblical Israelites. That's right. According to history, anthropology, archaeology, and just plain common sense. And we're here today to wake up our people. But you may say, why does it matter? It matters because you have been told lies as a nation of people. You have been made to believe things that are not true and exist in a paradigm that was never meant for you to dwell in to where you would be successful. It doesn't matter your PhD. It doesn't matter the, the degree that you have. The only thing that happens is you're still identified as another so-called Negro. All right? So it's time to wake up and get out of the mindset of just being relegated to black people. We are the biblical Israelites, and you got a great day coming for you. Right. But you need to know what's going on. There's pestilences going on in this time. Uh -huh. There are wars going on in this time. And a lot of our people don't identify with that. A lot of our people are still excited about having a good time in America. What has America ever done for the so-called Negroes? You got conflict going over in other countries, and we have the audacity to fight for people that never cared about us. Right. Where's our army? Right. Where's the payback for all the hatred, right. for all the disdain, right. for all of our ancestors that were hung on these trees right. that built America? Right. Well, why does it matter? You should ask yourself the question. Why does it matter? Read what you got. It's the book of John, chapter 8, verse 32. Bring it out. And ye shall know the truth. And you shall what? And ye, ye shall, shall know, know the, the truth. truth. Read on. And the truth shall be make you free. Will a lie make you free? I don't care how long you've been deceived as a so-called Negro in America. Will a lie make you free? You'll never be free if you're still indoctrinated with lies. You'll never be free if you're excited about the lies that you've been told and continue in this existence. Read it again from the top. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. The truth shall make you free. And this is the passion. This is why we're here. This is the impetus driving these men that you see in America on these corners because we know that our people have been told lies. And it's only through the truth that you will be set free. See, we love our people. We are men that love the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and Seminole Indians because we're required to as servants of the Most High. Give me Leviticus 19 and 7. You know what I want. So this is love. And a lot of times instruction and teaching is misunderstood for hate. But we're here to correct the wrongs that have been perpetuated by our enemies concerning our nation. That's why we still, in 2023, can't get justice or peace. That's why every time we turn on the TV, every time we look at social media, there's a knee on our neck. Right. It's time that we wake up and arise as those chosen people. We need to be asking the question, why is this still going on? Why are we still seeing the second class citizens? What about our 40 acres and a mule? Why is this not happening? Read. This Leviticus 19 and 7. 
and if it be eaten at all on the third day. No, Seventeen. Nineteen seventeen. This the book of Leviticus, chapter nineteen, verse seventeen. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. We're required not to hate our brothers. We're required not to hate our sisters. Right. We're here to love you, but this is love according to the Bible. Read. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. We are not supposed to suffer sin upon you. This is the love that we have for our people. Now you may ask, the next question that should come to your mind, what is sin? What is sin? If we're not supposed to allow the people that we love the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and Seminole Indians, if we're supposed to love you and not suffer sin on you, then the next question, I know there are a lot of educated people here. There are a lot of educated people. Some of you got your degrees. Some of you got PhDs. You got all types of degrees. But the one thing we still suffer from is an identity crisis. And if we're supposed to love you and not suffer sin, then what is sin? Read. Con, the book of First John 3 and 4. Bring it up. Whosoever committeth sin transgresseth also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. So the next question to the educated so-called Negro should be, what is the law? Because if I'm breaking laws, then I'm in transgression. Read that again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. This is Leviticus 19:17. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. So we don't hate our brothers. We love our brothers and sisters. Read. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. We're supposed to rebuke. That means correct. And a lot of times correction doesn't seem kind. But have we become your enemy because we tell you the truth? And we know that the truth is the only thing that's going to set our people free. Read. And not suffer sin upon him. We're not supposed to allow you to sin. And that's what America does. America relegated through perpetual hatred when they allow you to do whatever you feel like doing. Whenever you can, you can be whatever you want to be. That goes against the Bible. The Most High has given us statutes and commandments to live by. Give me Deuteronomy 10 and 12, read your precept. Psalm 19 and 7. The law of the Lord is perfect. What is the law? The, the law, law of the Lord, Lord is perfect. Read on. Converting the soul. That's why it's so important that you don't transgress the law. And a lot of our people don't identify with the Bible and the biblical narrative of keeping laws, statutes, and commandments. It's as simple as government. Any government that has any structure, there are laws that are associated with that government. For you to exist in a paradigm where there is lawfulness then you would have to keep laws. If not, there are consequences for breaking those laws. The kingdom of heaven is the same way. The kingdom of heaven is not a place where you get to do whatever you want to do. God. And a lot of people, they don't want to go to hell. They don't want to be destroyed. But guess what? You're destined to because you don't want to keep these laws. Right. All right? Read what you got. Come. It says, the statutes of the Lord are right. The statutes of the Heavenly Father are right. So that would make you, as a so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American, ask yourself the question, what are the laws that I'm breaking against the Heavenly Father? If you break laws in this government in America, what happens? You're subject to go to jail. What do you think is going to happen if you break the laws of the Heavenly Father? You don't believe that he has a place for you to destroy your soul more than your flesh. Read on. Come. The statutes of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. So you need that purity because we have become in balance through the doctrine of America. We have become out of order through the doctrine of America. America has deceived our people into believing that you're going to be okay. Well, if it's happening in other countries, it can happen right here. Do you know before every fall of every nation, the prophets came out and prophesied against those nations? Every dispensation prior to its fall, you had the men of the Heavenly Father come out and say what we're saying now. Right. And it's very important to understand that we're in the last 
leg of the Roman Greco Empire according to prophecy. Uh -huh. But if you're not discerning the times, you're embarrassed. Give me the book of Proverbs 11 and 1. This is the problem that our people suffer with. We suffer with an imbalance. And there's only one way to get balanced. And that's these laws, statutes, and commandments that the Most High has given to the chosen people. We need to wake up and identify with the great day that the Heavenly Father has for us as a people. But we will never experience that day as long as you're following instructions on the wrong road. I don't care how much encouragement you get on the wrong road, you will never get to your appointed destination. That's right. Read what you got, Prince. Come, Proverbs 11 and 1. Give me a little bit. A false balance is abomination to the Lord. A what? A false balance is abomination to the Lord. That's the problem with America. Because America has taught false balances according to the Bible. America says that it's okay for you to do whatever you want with your body. America says it's okay for the alphabet community to be esteemed and associated with greatness or with power. God. How in the world do you have an LGBTQ flag riding next to an American flag? What does that have to do with nationalism and the identity of the forgotten people? Right. Absolutely nothing. We have been re relegated to the ideology and the behavior of animals, man. Where animals don't even do that. Read what you got. Con. But a just weight, but a what? But a just weight, read, is his delight. The Most High delights in just weights. And this is a law that our people don't understand. A false balance is an abomination. If you're in balance, then you're about to fall. If you got too much pride, if you got too much, too much of noxygen, which America perpetrates to our people, why is it that they're okay with us having a good time in America but they're not okay with restoring us to our original state or allowing you to identify with your real land. Right. What's going on over in Israel, this is all because of you, so-called Negro, Latinos, Native Americans, and Seminole Indian. This is all about you. They're parting your land. And the Most High is angry with the people that have parted your land. All right? We need to come and identify with what he requires of us to get back in the land. We need to stop fighting for everybody else's cause. Because we're still in the same situation. We're still the last hired in the first five. We're still the first ones to get a knee on our neck. Read. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 19, verse 35. Ye shall do no unrighteousness in judgment. We are not supposed to do unrighteousness in judgment. Because if the people in Israel, if they were really you and we were dwelling in the land in a righteous state then it wouldn't be any war the, the bible declares that when the wicked are in rule the people mourn God. and that's what we see going over on and that's why we as a people mourn because the wicked is in rule but when the righteous are in rule the people rejoice and that's the great day we have coming for us but we must identify with the most high's instruction and come back to these laws, statutes, and commandments. Read again from the top. Ye shall do no unrighteousness in judgment. Read on. In many yard, in weight, or in measure. Come on. Just balances, just weights, a just ephah, and just in shall he ye have. So in other words, you're supposed to bring about just balances and there won't be any justice for us until we get back to the appropriate behavior that the most high required for the chosen ah, people man. that's right the so-called negroes latinos and native americans we are not balanced with the truth man that's why we're not free the only way you get balance is coming back to these laws statutes and commandments the most high declares a false balance is abomination Precept. bring it up con Job 31 and 6 let me be weighed in an even balance. Come on. That God may know mine integrity. And this is the, how the Most High is going to identify his chosen people and those that are going to be fit for the kingdom. If you're imbalanced, you're not fit for the kingdom. Sir, you're not fit for the kingdom, man. If you don't come back to these law, statutes, commandments, give me the book of Ezekiel 18, verse 24. Read what you got, what I had you holding. 
This the book of Deuteronomy chapter 10 verse 12. And now Israel, what doth the Lord thy God require of thee? Because you should be asking yourself, Mr. PhD, Mr. Educated, Mrs. Uh, what are they called? Is it something cool lotta? Listen, uh, something Kool-Aid, I forget what it's called. But that's what it's going to amount to if you don't identify with these laws, statutes, and commandments. All your degree is a receipt. That's all is a big receipt. People are in debt over the education of your enemy. You think he's going to teach you right if he don't treat you right? Of course he's not going to teach you right. He hasn't told you your identity. He hasn't showed you that you're the greatest people on the earth, right. and that's a false balance. And a false balance is an abomination, man. We got to get back to right justice once we're balanced. And we're not balanced as a people. We are full of immorality. We're full of self-hatred. We hate our brothers. We hate our sisters. Let's dead that nigga. Let's kill that bitch. All this nonsense, the music that's perpetrated in our communities, all it is is a disease. It's a cancer. God. And we need to refuse it. And the way that you refuse it is by keeping these laws, statutes, and commandments that the Most High gave to the greatest people that's right. on the planet Earth. That's right. That's right. They couldn't have built this place without us. God. They'd still be eating out of skulls if it wasn't for us. We cultivated the land. The land and the earth is waiting for the manifestations of the true sons and daughters of God. Come. Read what you got. But to fear the Lord thy God. This is what the most I requires from you, sister. This is the, what the most I requires from you, my brother. Read. To walk in all his ways. To walk in all his ways, not your ways. Because war is coming to America. Race wars are going to be coming up here. People already hate you. They're going to start. You know why they hate you? Because they hate you. Right. And they're getting ready to come right into your face. When America starts to crumble, and believe me, it's crumbling, guess who they're going to come and attack? The so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and Seminole Indians. Y'all better gird up yourselves like a man. Get ready for war. Because war is coming to America, man. A lot of y'all ain't ready, man. When they kick down your door, anything you can't protect, you can't keep. If you ain't thinking like that, whatever you can't protect, you will never keep it. Come. And you better wake up to the fact. Read. But to fear the Lord thy God, to walk in all his ways. You got to walk in all his ways. Read. And to love him. And to do what? And, and to, to love him. him. Read on. And to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul. This is what the Most High wants us to do. And we men, y'all need to gird up yourselves. Give me Exodus 15 and 3. The Most High is not playing when it comes to destruction. We see the famine. We see blood in the streets of these other countries. It's going to happen to America. You better wake up, so-called Negroes. It's time to wake up and identify with this Bible and come back to these commandments. Your salvation draws nearer than what you believe. That's right. Read. Ezekiel chapter 18 verse 24 Bring it out. but when the righteous turn away from his righteousness Go to 23 verse 23 have I any pleasure at all that the wicked should die the most high doesn't want his people to be destroyed man that's why we out here we're telling you to repent and come back to your identity as an Israelite man you're not black you ain't no coon you ain't no spick you ain't no nigger you ain't no bitch. You ain't none of these things. You the children of the most high right. power, man. And you need to start acting like it. Come. Read. Saith the Lord God. Come on. And not that he should return from his ways and live. So the most high don't want to kill many of our people. But two-thirds of our people got to go. Right. Man, because they refuse. Because they're imbalanced. They don't have that balance. It's an abomination. The most high is going to destroy all the abominable ways, man. Of not just America, but even his people. Read. Come. Verse 24. But when the righteous turneth away from his righteousness. Come on. And committeth iniquity. And doeth according to all the abominations that the wicked man doeth. We got, we got to stop following these nations, man. And that's why we're in the state that we're in now. Because we want to do as the original monkey want to do. The so-called white man. That's what we want to do. We want to play follow the leader. We want to do whatever he tells us to do. He knows that his time is short, man. Uh -huh. And he's ready to take you down with him. Wait. Shall he live? Come on. All his righteousness that he hath done shall not be mentioned. That's why we have to keep these commandments. It's not enough just to do them once in a while. And you got to know them to keep them. You 
keep these commandments, you keep your life. Right. God. You keep this word, you keep your life. You reject these commandments, you lose your life, man. And more importantly, you lose your soul. Read. Come. It says, and his so like it, all his righteousness that he have done shall not be mentioned. Come on. In his trespass that he have trespassed, and in his sin that he have sinned, and then shall he die. He shall die. Read on. Come. Verse 25. Yet ye say, the way of the Lord is not equal. A lot of y'all think that the ways of this Bible is not equal. You think that this instruction is not equal. But let's see what the Bible says. Come. It says, yet you say the word, the way of the Lord is not equal. Here now, O house of Israel. Oh, and you know that's us as a people, because we say, no, that's not right. I should be love is love, right? <laughs> love is love, right? Read that, read that part again. Come. It says, Hear now, O house of Israel. I'm gonna start from the top. Yet you say the way of the Lord is not equal. Hear now, O house of Israel. So house of Israel, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and Seminole Indians, and those that are scattered around the earth of indigenous descent. Y'all keep, y'all say, man, the ways of the most high are equal. You know how you say that? When you accept everything that Tom, Dick, and Harry proposed to us. Right. The ways of, he's not equal. Hey, let love is love. Let live. I can do what I want with my body. That's not the ways of the heavenly father. You won't go to the kingdom with that type of thinking. Come on. Read. Is not my way equal? Come on. Are not your ways unequal? He said your ways are unequal. Mm -hmm. Read on. When a righteous man turneth away from his righteousness and committeth iniquity and dieth in them, for his iniquity that he hath done shall he die. Again, when the wicked man turneth away from his wickedness that he hath committed, and doeth that which is lawful and right. That's what the most I wants from us, so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and Seminole Indians. Turn away from doing wrong, and let's come back to right. You'll never be right until you get right. You'll never be right till you know what's right. And these law, statutes, and commandments are going to put you on the right path. If not, you're in balance and it's an abomination to the Most High. Read on. He shall save his soul alive. He'll save your soul. Who wants to save their soul today? Right. Who wants to come back to these law, statutes, and commandments and save your soul? You think they got jails and prisons to put your body in. You don't think the Most High who created you got a prison for you? You don't think he got a jail for you? Right. You don't think he got torments for you? Man, he could torment your soul. I, I'm not afraid of the man that could put my body in chains. Right. But I'm afraid of the one that could destroy my spirit, that's my right. soul, punish my soul. Right. And that's why we out here. See, a lot of our people, they say they love God, but you're not convinced. Mm. And the Most High is giving you another time to get convicted. You better get convicted. You better get convinced because the Most High is coming back. Come. And he going to judge his people, man. Judgment going to start with the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and Seminole Indians. We being judged now. Right. The Most High is giving you a prelude to what's going to happen with what's happening in these countries. That's his mercy. Because you don't think it can happen to you? Read. Come. It says, again. What verse? Uh, I'm at 28. Now, okay, give me the 30. All right, Con. Verse 28. This is Ezekiel 18, 28. Because he considereth and turneth away from all his transgressions. Yeah. We gotta turn away from all our transgressions and that's what the Most High wants us to do. You gotta know your transgressions to turn away from them. That's the only way you're gonna be balanced. If you're not balanced, you're an abomination to the Most High. Everything in your life needs balance. I know a lot of us don't have that stability, but you need that stability in your life if you wanna be productive in the kingdom of the Most High. That's right. Read on. Con. That he hath committed he shall surely live. He shall not die. So the Most High doesn't want to destroy our people. But the way you live is to keep the commandments. Read on. Verse 29. Yet saith the house of Israel. But this is our people. This is how you know you Israel. Read on. The way of the Lord is not equal. We say, man, the, the way of the Lord ain't right. That's what we say. Oh, the Bible say that? I don't believe that. You're supposed to prove it and see. Right. You're supposed to prove it and see. See if what we're saying is lies, because the last time I checked, it's only the truth that's going to set you free. That's right. Free. It ain't going to be a lie. I don't care how much you believe a lie, you're still going to be deceived. It's still not going to set you free. Read. Oh, house of Israel, 
are not my ways equal. He said, my ways are equal. This is how we get balanced as a people, by following his ways. Read on. Are not your ways unequal. Your ways are unequal. You say love is love. The Bible said anybody that behaves like that should be put to death. He says that's an abomination. Right. A man that identifies as a woman, according to the Most High, that's an abomination. A woman that identifies as a man, according to the Most High, that's an abomination. That's right. You can break laws in America and go to jail. You don't think you can break the Heavenly Father's laws that created you and he can't destroy you? Mm. Man, you ain't nothing but dust, man. We act like, like it, it don't stink. <laughs> we act like it don't stink. And I'm here to tell you it does. To the nostrils of the Most High, man, it's filthy. Our behavior has been filthy. We have been despicable in the eyes of the Most High's of people. But he loves us so much that he wants us to come back home. That he wants us to return to these law, statutes, commandments. Read on. Verse 30. Therefore, I will judge you, O house of Israel. He gonna judge who? O house of Israel. He gonna judge us. Who wants to be spared the judgment? Who wants to be spared when you have to meet the Heavenly Father and stand before him on that day? Who wants to be spared the judgment? Who wants to hear, job well done, sir? God. Good and faithful servant. Or who wants to say, here, depart from me, I never knew you. Because mm. all you did was work iniquity. You wanted to do your thing. You didn't want to do what I have for you. Because I loved you. Isn't that something else? We, are, we identify as a people that hate love and we love hate. Read. Come. It says, therefore I will judge you, O house of Israel. Everyone according to his ways. According to what? According to his ways. Every man gonna be judged according to his ways, man. What you've done. If you are a whoremonger on the earth, you're gonna get a punishment worthy of a whoremonger. If you are adulterer on the earth, you're gonna get a punishment worthy of the adulterer. All he said, if you're a homosexual, you're gonna get a punishment worthy of, of a homosexual. That's the way the most high is. Straight, no chaser. Read. Said the Lord God, repent. And turn yourselves from all your transgressions. That's what we got to do as a people. We got to repent and turn from all our transgressions. Read what you got, brother. This the book of Exodus, chapter 15, verse 3. The Lord is a man of war. He's a what? Is a man of war. So that should have us actually afraid of the Most High. Mm -hmm. Because if your ways are not pleasing to him, then now you're at war with the Heavenly Father. And he's a man of war. The Most High ain't nothing to play with. He killeth, he make it for life. He caused the storms, he caused the pestilence. He causes destruction. He's got your life in his hands. Read. The Lord is a man of war. Yahweh is his name. And that's the name we should be calling on. By Shema Mashiach Yahweh. That's the name, that's the true name. Read what you got, Prince. Come on, Isaiah chapter 10 verse one. Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees. That's what's going on in the world now. And that's not just relegated to nations, that's to us as a people. You decree an unrighteous decree. You know, there are penalties for making a vow and not keeping them. A man's gonna be judged from by the words that come out of his mouth. We gotta watch a lot of things that we do, but Proverbs 14, 12 says it's a way that seems right unto man, but the Bible records that the ways thereof it's death, man. Um, it's destruction. Read on. Come. And right in that right grievousness which they have prescribed. Come on. To turn aside the needy from judgment. Come on. And to take away the right from the poor of my people. So we see the imbalance here. This is why the Most High is judging Israel. This is why the Most High is judging Palestine. And all the nations that dealt treacherously with his people. So y'all don't want to be partakers of that, man. Give me Amos 9 and 8. Give me Amos 9 and 8. Read what you got. Come. It says, to turn aside the needy from judgment and to take away the right from the poor of my people. That's what America has done to the so-called Negroes. But all of us want to jump on every bandwagon that America says that we should be identifying with. And it never helps us. It never helps us. We got to stop getting in the middle of other people's fights because guess what? The Most High is doing that. Right. For your deliverance. Uh. And if you join hand in hand with the wicked, according to the biblical record, you're going to be destroyed. You can't join hand with every agenda. 
You got to join hand with the agenda of the Heavenly Father, your creator. Come. Because you are the chosen people. Read. That widows may be their prey. Come on. And that they rob the fatherless. And that's what America has done. And the Most High is going to judge a hypocritical nation. You know what hypocrisy is a result of? Imbalance. Come. And many of us are hypocrites. We have become hypocrites through the indoctrination of America's teaching. That's why we can say that we love God with a straight face and don't do nothing he tell us to do. That's a hypocrite, you know that? That's hypocrisy. And it's an abomination before the Most High. We gotta stop being hypocrites. We gotta let our nays be nays, our yeas be yeas. If you say you love God, then keep his commandments. Come. Read. Verse three, and what will you do in the day of visitation? What you gonna do when your Yahweh visits you? What you gonna do when the Most High comes and visits? Because these nations are starting to feel it now. It's going to be mind-numbing pain, thermonuclear destruction right. on an all-time high. Read. And in the desolation which shall come from far, to whom will you flee for help? Whom will you flee for help when the Most High comes to judge this nation? It's time to wake up and identify with your true identity. Y'all are the greatest people on the planet Earth. Start behaving like it. You got the records right here. You have what you need right here in this Bible. Basic instruction before leaving earth. We need to identify. How many of you even graduated or got a degree without knowing the information and being able to show that you had a healthy understanding? What have you gotten by just saying Jesus paid it all? Ever in life? Nothing. Read. As a man sold, that's what he going to read. Come. Read. Come. And where will you leave your glory? Without verse four, without me they shall bow down under the prisoners, and they shall fall under the slain. For all this, his anger is not turned away, but his hand is stretched out still. So the Most High is still calling us to come back, and what you're seeing in the earth is a result of what they've done to you. But most of our people don't identify. We identify with just being black, relegated to a crayon in a in a box. But you got a PhD, right? Right. You got your MBA, right? But you don't even know who you are. It's time to wake up and discern the times. Read what you got. I'm going to get a couple more. Give me uh, Isaiah 5 and 8. This is the book of Amos, chapter 9, verse 8. Bring it out. Behold, the eyes of the Lord God are upon the sinful kingdom. The Most High is looking at America and all its transgressions. Come on, you got to been hiding under a rock to realize America is, is not coming down. What you? Come on, man. Y'all can see the dollar ain't worth nothing. Even the so-called European, he's lost his glory days. He don't have the same strength as he used to. Right. You, at one time, you couldn't be out here after dark. At one time, you couldn't be on these corners. It wasn't too long ago talking about that the so-called white man is the devil that the Bible speaks of. You know you be lynched on trees. That's how you know his kingdom is coming down. Right. It's time to wake up and identify with your rule, with your reign, with your power, with your Messiah. Wait. Hey and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth. The Most High is going to destroy this place off the face of the earth. If anybody believes in the Bible, the anthropology, the archaeology, the just plain common sense, and identify with what happened to Sodom and Gomorrah, and you don't believe that's going to happen to America, I, I don't know what rock you've been under. Read. Saving that, I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob. But the Most High said he's not going to destroy all of us that are in this paradigm. Why? Saith the Lord. For lo, I will command and I will sift the house of Israel among the nations. So the Most High is going to take his people from amongst the nation. But those of us that are practice abomination and things contrary to the Bible, we're going to be destroyed in America, man. Right, right. You're destroyed already. Your mind is destroyed. Right. Because you don't have the mind of your creator. Read. Like as corn is sifted in a seed, yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. All the sinners of my people. All the what? All, all the, the sinners, sinners of, of my, my people. people. What's going to happen to all the people that don't want to accept these laws, statutes, and commandments and come back to a better way of life? What's wrong with loving your brothers yourself? Right. What's wrong with taking care of your family? Right. What's wrong with reproducing in the way that the most I created you to reproduce? What's wrong with not twerking at the club? What's wrong with not getting drunk? What's 
What's wrong with not calling your women bitches? Calling and talking about we niggas and hoes. What's wrong with that? Right. But see, we don't want what's right. Because we have been relegated to the conduct of animals in America, man. Nah. And we're better than that. That's We've right. been called to be better than that. We're supposed to be a light unto the world. Everything they do, even when we're in our fallen state, they want to be like us. Right. But you're supposed to be teachers of what's right. That's right. Not perpetrators of what's wrong. Because the most I'm going to destroy you in these last days. Let's say if the Bible, man. Read. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword shall what shall, shall die, die by, by the, the sword. sword read which say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us a lot of our people identify with evil we don't identify with the law statutes commandments of the heavenly father and you feel like nothing's going to happen to you that's not a truth that's a lie and we're here to wake you up from that deception read what you got Con, the book of isaiah chapter 55 verse 8 for my thoughts are not your thoughts. Because I can ask a whole bunch of people if they love God, they say, yeah, and I say, show me. Mm. Let me see by your actions, do you love God? Do you love another sex like yourself more than you love God? Right. Mm. Do you love your mama more than you love God? Right. Do you love your daddy more than you love God? Right. Do you love your children more than you got? Love Teacher. is dedication and commitment. God. And we as a, as a people have not been committed to the Heavenly Father. God. We've given right. him lift service. Right. But we don't have the conduct to match the confession. Mm. And the most I gonna confess you out of the kingdom. Wait. For my thoughts are not your thoughts. For what? For my what thoughts, thoughts are not your, your thoughts. thoughts. See, the thoughts of the Heavenly Father ain't like your thoughts. And y'all keep trying to relegate him down to your understanding. His thoughts aren't like your thoughts. Read on. Neither are your ways my ways. His ways are not your ways. That's why you got to learn the ways of the Most High. The Most High ain't concerned with having a good time in America. The Most High ain't concerned with making money in America. Shalom, brother. The Most High ain't concerned with how many likes he got on social media. <laughs> This is a whole Me Too movement, right. and everybody's involved. Everybody got a selfie. Where in the world, the last summer, when I was young, it was just a Polaroid. It's supposed to be a one-way camera. Now we done got so obnoxious and selfish, we taking selfies. Look at me. <laughs> Look at me. I'm somebody on YouTube. Look at me. So we see you. When, when has this become a thing? We outside. We used to just go outside. Why are you telling people you outside? That don't make no sense to me. We got to wake up and identify with the truth. We've been relegated to where we can't even think no more. These phones are thinking for us. Right. Man. You can't even remember your phone number. Right. Some, all somebody has to do, they don't even have to question you. They say, give me that phone. I'm going to find everything I need to know about you. Give me your phone. Right. Oh, yo, this your mama and them. This is all this. This your address. The phone got more information than you. We ain't got to interrogate you. They ain't got to ask you no questions. Uh, give me your phone. I'm going to know everything and then some about you. Right. Read on. Come on. Verse 9. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, come on, so are my ways higher than your ways. The Most High's ways are higher than our ways. So that should put you in a position of humility that guess what? We don't know it all. And we need to learn. God. Because my ways are not your ways. How many women out here looking for good men and don't have one? Right. How many men looking for good women and don't have one? You know why? Because we haven't been good. We have, haven't been right. right. And you're reaping what you sow. Mm. You're reaping what you sow. You got to change what you're doing if you ever want to excel or exist in a different existence. You can't keep doing the same thing and thinking different results are going to happen. They call it insanity. I call it out of sanity. You're out of sanity. Thinking that way. Read on. God. It says, so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts that his ways are higher than your ways his thoughts are not your thoughts and so we need to think like him we're supposed to have the mind of christ right let this mind be in you that was also in hamashiach yahushua right? right come that's what we're supposed to do i'm gonna get two more scriptures uh read your precept it's the book of matthew chapter 15 verse 7 ye hypocrites ye what ye hypocrites will did isaiah prophesy of you saying this people draw nigh unto me with their mouth and honor me with their lips but their heart is far from me uh, and the heart is your mind mm -hmm. our minds are far from the most high you honor them with your lips 
but you don't do anything he says. Give me the book of Jeremiah 6, 16, and you give me 2 Ezra 14, 28 through 35, and I'm going to end there and let the next powerful speaker come edify you. Yeah, Jeremiah uh, 6, 16. So a false balance is an abomination. We got to get balanced. It's time to be balanced. Anything that's not balanced is bound to tip over, man. And this is why we see the judgment in the earth. This is why you see the pestilences. This is why you see the storms. This is why you see the destruction. And it's coming now. It's coming to your neighborhood. Read. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 6, verse 16. Bring it out. Thus saith the Lord, stand ye in the ways and see and ask for the old path. We got to ask for the old paths, man. Because that's where you're going to get balanced the right way. Many of us don't identify with our elders. The Bible says wisdom should be the stability of our times. The only way you're going to get stable is if you heed to wisdom. It's hard to tell young people anything these days. Because all they got to do is Google it. I just Google it. I know, I know more than you. But the one thing you don't have is experience. And experience is a teacher. Now you can get it through tribulation or revelation. Which one you want? Bring it out. Stand ye in the ways and see and ask for the old paths. Where is the good way? That's what we got to start doing as a people. Ask for these old paths, which in Hebrew means eternal, everlasting. These paths are never going to go away. Read. And walk therein. And do what? And, and walk, walk therein. therein. We got to walk right if you want to be balanced. How can you tell a baby that they don't have any complications when they come out that after a certain period of time, they can walk? A lot of us still can't even walk. A lot of us are still on all fours with our behavior. Read. And ye shall find rest for your soul. And ye shall find rest for your souls. So what you're hearing today is love for our people. Because we're here to tell you the truth. How many people say they love you and they tell you the truth? Mm. They don't love you. How many people consistently lie to you, they don't love you, and they don't want to see you free. They want to be able to control you. Read. Con. The book of 2 Ezra, chapter 14, verse 28. Hear these words, O Israel. Our fathers at the beginning were strangers in Egypt, from whence they were delivered. Verse 30. And received the law of life, which they kept not. The law of life because there's nothing new under the sun. We've been here before, beloved. It's time to get right. You got a second chance. It ain't gonna be a third one. Read. Which you also have transgressed after them. Come on. Verse 31. Then was the land, even the land of Zion, parted among you by lots. But your fathers and ye yourselves have done unrighteousness. Have done what? Unrighteousness. What have our people done? Unrighteousness. What are our people doing? Unrighteousness. Read on. And have not kept the ways which the highest commanded you. Those ways are balanced ways. And that's the only way you're going to be balanced. you got to keep those ways because a false balance is an abomination Come. and it's going to be destroyed. That's right. Read. Come. Verse 32. And for as much as he is a righteous judge. He's a righteous judge. Come on. He took from you in time the thing that he had given you. Come on. It was a long time we didn't have these laws, statutes, and commandments. And now he's returning them to us so that we can be a balanced people once again. Read on. And now are you here and your brethren among you. Therefore, if so be that you will subdue your own understanding. You got to subdue your own understanding because your understanding is not balanced, beloved. Our, our understanding has become contaminated with the ways of America. We have been taught to hate one another and, and fight against what's right. That's an imbalance. Read on. And reform your hearts. You got to reform your minds. And that's through the Torah. Read on. Con. You shall be kept alive. You shall be what? Kept alive. That's how serious this is. What we're teaching are the issues of life and death, man. Read on. And after death, you shall obtain mercy. And after what? After death, you shall obtain mercy. And that's what we're looking for. So with that, I say shalom. And let the next powerful speaker come forward to edify you.